and distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, we come to a very important item on our agenda. Item 3.3, which is the election of the director of the Pan American Sanitary Bureau and the nomination of the regional director of the World Health Organization for the Americas. That the conference shall elect the director of the bureau in accordance with Article 21, Paragraph A of the Constitution. The director shall hold office for a period of five years and may not be re-elected more than once. And on the 28th Pan American Sanitary Conference, to elect the director of the Sanitary Bureau for a period of five years, beginning on the 1st of February 2013, from among the following candidates. Dr. Caroline Judith Chang Campos, Dr. Carissa Fatista Etienne, Dr. Socorro Gross Galliano. Distinguished delegates, we now must proceed to round two. We now have a second round, and again, all three candidates are going to be presented to you to make that decision. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of round two, I am pleased to announce that we do have a winner. Number of ballots cast, 38. Number of blank or invalid ballots, zero. We need a majority of 20 votes. It is therefore my distinct pleasure to announce that the person who amassed a total of 20 votes is Dr. Carissa ATM. humbled. I am humbled by the faith that you have shown in me to lead this great organization. You know, for a woman from one of the smallest nations in the world to be elected to the helm of our distinguished and beloved PAHO is truly an honor and a privilege for me and for my country, Dominica. I pledge to you that I shall do my best to live up to what I know are your very high expectations. Throughout its long history, PAHO has played a seminal role in the health development of this region, and it remains uniquely placed to catalyze progress in advancing public health. Successful organizations must be able to simultaneously hold on to their proven core values and principles and to innovate. Dr. Roses has provided great vision and leadership for PAHO over the last 10 years. In my presentation to the Candidates Forum, I have presented what constitutes my vision for health in the Americas. Sociedades Libres de la Desigualdad, donde las personas tengan acceso a las determinantes sociales y medio ambiente saludables, las que les permiten llevar una vida larga, digna, saludable y productiva. Pro productiva, excuse me. Esto incluye el acceso universal a los servicios de salud sin temor al el pobrecimiento. This vision is an encapsulation 
of the hopes and dreams that I have kindled during a career in public health that spans more than 30 years. If we are to achieve our health goals at the local, national, and regional levels, we must work together in the spirit of solidarity that so characterizes this region of ours, sharing our knowledge with one another and using our resources to serve those who need our help the most. I hope to take PAHO forward in new and challenging directions, working hand in hand with PAHO's able and dedicated staff, many of who are represented here today. At the same time, I want to pledge that I will never forget that PAHO belongs to you, the member states, and that I am merely your humble servant. Our region is strong. We now see political stability and economic prosperity in the region at unprecedented levels. But at the same time, there are millions of people, some of them in our wealthiest member states, that do not have access to the social determinants of health or the health care that they desperately need. Yesterday, in Dr. Rose's report, she stated 74 million people living in conditions of extreme poverty. This is a reflection of the inequities that afflict many of our member states and our region and present a challenge to us all to strive for social justice, to ensure social inclusion, and to be proactive in addressing the needs of the vulnerable and marginalized peoples. PAHO has been such a great facilitator and convener, enabling dialogue and a flow of information among the countries of the region. There is indeed a wealth of information and knowledge, and our challenge is harnessing this information and knowledge and making it available to the right places, to, in, to the right people, in a time um, that is not 25 years long, but certainly in the shortest time possible. I close as I started. Humbly assuming the role that you have seen fit to grant me. Pledging to work with each and every one of you as we carry PAHO into the next phase of its long and illustrious history. Thank you and may God bless you all. Muchas gracias y que Dios los bendiga. Merci y que Dieu vous bénisse. Obrigada. Gracias.